Welcome to the book summary of Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. This is an eye-opening read about the guiding principles on how to live a happy and fulfilling life. Marcus Aurelius was the emperor of Rome from 161 to 180 AD and was the last of the five good emperors. Drawing on Stoic philosophy, Marcus writes notes to himself on self-improvement and the lessons that have stuck with him. In meditations, there aren't really chapters as such. The book is broken up into books, which are the pieces of parchment that Marcus wrote on. The numbers below correspond to the book number followed by a passage number, e.g. 110 refers to book 1, passage 10, and actionable. If you like what you hear in the book summary, I strongly suggest you buy the book using the link in the description. So without further ado, I bring you the book summary of Meditations. Not to be consistently telling people or writing them that I'm too busy, unless I really am. Similarly, not to always ducking my responsibilities to people around me because of pressing business. Not to be consistently correcting people, and in particular, not to jump on them whenever they make an error of usage or a grammatical mistake or mispronounce something, but just answer their question or add another example or debate the issue itself, not their phrasing, or make some other contribution to the discussion and insert the right expression unobtrusively. Self-control and resistance to distractions. Doing your job without whining. When you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, the people I deal with today will be meddling, ungrateful, arrogant, dishonest, jealous, and surely. They are like this because they can't tell good from evil. But I have seen the beauty of good and the ugliness of evil, and have recognized that the wrongdoer has a nature related to my own, not of the same blood or birth, but the same mind and possessing a share of the divine, and so none of them can hurt me. No one can implicate me in ugliness, nor can I feel angry at my relative or hate him. We were born to work together, like feet, hands, and eyes, like the two rows of teeth, upper and lower. To obstruct each other is unnatural. To feel anger at someone, to turn your back on him, these are obstructions. How to act, never under compulsion, out of selfishness, without forethought, with misgivings. Don't gussy up your thoughts. No surplus words of unnecessary actions. Your ability to control your thoughts, treat it with respect. It's all that protects your mind from false perceptions, false to your nature, and that of all your rational beings. It's what makes thoughtfulness possible, and affection for other people, and submission to the divine. If you do the job in a principled way, with diligence, energy, and patience, if you keep yourself free of distractions, and keep the spirit inside you undamaged, as it might have to give it back at any moment. If you can embrace this without fear or expectation, can find fulfillment in what you are doing now, as nature intended, and in the superhuman truthfulness, every word, every utterance, then your life will be happy. No one can prevent that. No random actions. None not based on underlying principles. Choose not to be harmed and you won't feel harmed. Don't feel harmed and you haven't been. It can ruin your life only if it ruins your character. Otherwise it cannot harm you, inside or out. To shrug it all off and wipe it clean. Every annoyance and distraction and reach utter stillness. Child's play. You can lead an untroubled life provided you can grow, can think and act systematically. Two characteristics shared by gods and men and every rational creature. 1. Not to let others hold you back. 2. To locate goodness in thinking and doing the right thing and to limit your desires to that. The best revenge is not to be like that. Not to assume it's impossible because you find it hard, but to recognize that it's humanly possible you can do it too. When you need encouragement, think of the qualities of people around you you have. This one's energy, that one's modesty, another's generosity, and so on. Nothing is encouraging as when virtues are visibly embodied in the people around us when we're practically showered with them. It's good to keep this in mind. Practice really hearing what people say. Do your best to get inside their minds. A healthy pair of eyes should see everything that can be seen and not say no too bright. A healthy sense of hearing or smell should be prepared for any sound or scent. A healthy stomach could have same reaction to all foods, as a mill to what it grinds. So too a healthy mind should be prepared for anything. The one that keeps saying, are my children alright? 
or everyone must approve of me is like the eyes that can only stand pale colors or teeth that can handle only mush. If you don't have a consistent going life, you can't live in a consistent way. Unhelpful unless you specify a goal. There is no common benchmark for all the things that people think are good, except a few, the ones that affect us all. So the goal should be a common one, a civic one. If you direct all your energies towards that, your actions will be consistent and so will you. Socrates, what do you want? Rational minds or irrational ones? Rational ones. Healthy or sick? Healthy. Then work to attain them. We already have. Then why all this squabbling? It never ceased to amaze me. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. If God appeared to us, or as a wise human being even, and prohibited us from concealing our thoughts or imagining anything without immediately shouting it out, we wouldn't make it through one single day. That's how much we value other people's opinions instead of our own. To undertake nothing. Number one, at random or without a purpose. Number two, for any reason but the common good. And that's a summary wrap on book 87, Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. Subscribe to our channel for future video book summaries and follow us on Instagram, hashtag bestbookbits. This summary is from the website poorminders.com. Watch previous video book summaries on our channel. And if you like the video and want to buy the book, click the link in the video description to purchase from Amazon. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned a thing or two. Have a great day.